Welcome to Team YPWW Lesson 6. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is the world is ever changing, but God remains the same. Part 1. The lesson text is coming out of 1 Samuel chapter 1 and chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 22 through 24 and 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 through 14. The memory verse for today's lesson. I will read the King James Version first, and then the New International Version of Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. The New International Version. I, the Lord, do not change. So you, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. The key for today's lesson, the principles of God remain the same. The focus for today's lesson, students will learn to trust the consistency of God. We live in a society and world that is constantly changing. Laws change, leaders change, and how we manage the personal responsibilities of our life will change. From the highest ranking government officials to the greatly revered leaders of our church, to the teen leaders and listeners, and to all of the infants around the world that were born this week, change is a constant entity in every walk of life. Therefore, the challenge to success in the life of every believer is to know the best practices of dealing with the changes that take place in our world nation, schools, and homes, especially when the changes we are required to deal with are devastating and threaten our very existence. As believers, it is our sobering responsibility not to allow the negative situations in our lives to take us to a point of unbelief in God's power to help us. On the other side of this discussion, some changes in our lives are wonderful and bring exuberant rejoicing to our souls. We must also be cautious and not allow our victories to take us to the point of being self-sufficient and arrogant. The Word of God is to be our guide during all seasons of our lives. The ups and downs of our lives are best balanced by the unchanging principles of God. Our memory verse declares this unchanging attribute of God. It is comforting to know that God does not change. Therefore, because our life is in his hands, we are protected and not consumed. It is this principle that must be in the heart of every successful believer. We serve a God that does not change, regardless of the changes that you are challenged to endure. God's love for you, team listeners and readers, will never diminish. During your seasons of self-doubt and uncertainty, God's love for you will never change. You must also know that when you have been given an unfair set of circumstances to live through, God has a plan for your vindication. We have so many stories in the Word of God that illustrate for us this attribute of God. There are also many testimonies of believers from around the world that testify of the saving power of God from every imaginable negative circumstance of life. God is no respect of persons. Since he has blessed others, he has a plan to bless you as well. Let's look at the life of young Samuel for our biblical reference for this lesson. Samuel was born in a loving home with his parents, Elkina and Hannah. They took good care of him during his infancy he was their long-awaited son. As a promise to God, they agreed to give Samuel back to God when he became a toddler. They kept this promise and Samuel moves from his parents' home to the temple to live with and assist the prophet Eli in the work of God. Although moving from his parents' house to Eli's house was a smooth transition, it was a huge change in Samuel's life. He was ushered into a new, unfamiliar environment.
The priest Eli and his two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were now in it, his new family. Did Samuel miss his parents? Yes. Every year, Hannah was able to visit her son and brought him a new coat and treats from home. Samuel is blessed with the best of two worlds, the unconditional, consistent love of his mother and the honor of working in the house of the Lord under the tutelage of the high priest Eli. He learned how to survive and thrive in this new environment. God gave him the wisdom he needed to deal with this huge change in his life. God downloaded into Samuel's spirit the best practices of how to be successful in his new home. This set of new circumstances did not change God's love, provision, and protection of Samuel. Actually, this change in Samuel's life demonstrated God's love for him. God called him to be greatly used in the kingdom of God. Samuel's time and tenure in the temple serving Eli were necessary, foundational years. This time of instruction was required for him to learn about his upcoming destiny assignment. Through every change of life that Samuel had to handle, he faithfully followed God's directives. We can depend on the faithfulness of God, who is consistent. Our world governments and laws may change. Our environments, homes, and schools may change. Even our very lives may change. Where we live or who we live with. However, we can rest assured that God and his love for us will never change. Samuel's life testifies to us that God is faithful and will assist us to make all of the transitional adjustments we are required to manage in our lives. The questions for today's lesson. Question one, what are some recent changes that you have witnessed in your local state and national governments? leaders, and laws. Have these governmental changes affected your daily life? Number two, moving from one home to another home can be a joyful and stressful event. Have you ever moved from one home to another home? Share a joyful event of your moving experience. Share a stressful event from your moving experience and how God blessed you to get through it. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.